Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Vamiset. In this video, I'll cover so how to connect to Snowflake from DBT. The DBT Snowflake setup we'll cover in this video. So this is the project flow. So DBT will come here in the Snowflake project. For transformation purpose, DBT will be used. It's a data build tool mainly for sets a data transformation framework. Okay, so okay, so these are the some prerequisites are there. So one personal Gmail account should be there. Snowflake account should be created prior. Snowflake database and Snowflake schema should be there and Snowflake connection details. So these are some prerequisites to create DBT and Snowflake setup. Okay, so let's discuss in detail. Okay. In the Google Chrome, search for DBT Cloud. Okay. So click the first link. So see, try DBT Cloud for free. Thank you. So here we should have personal mail ID. So give the basic details. Company ABC. Anything can click, okay. So create, so I'm creating, trying to create a DBT account. Okay, see what happened. So you'll get one. Okay, see send verification email. So you go back here. So click here, we'll get the verification mail. Okay, now we got a verification mail. Okay. So click the latest one. Okay, see so verify your email address. Okay. Sometimes it will take some time. Okay. So close the same thing. This one is. Okay, now first one is that what? Connections. Click the connections. Add a new connection. So we are connecting to so DBT can be connected to Snowflake post to these are things. But what happened for learning purpose? I'm using Snowflake for this video. Snowflake. Okay, now what happened? Snowflake connection name is the Snowflake account. So what account I should give? You should give the Snowflake account details. Okay, so we go back here. So click on this value. So click account. Pop the same thing one more time. So click on this value account and this is a snow control wing now what happened we don't want all things so from starting from here to here i should extract okay control c control v and what happened we should give the snowflake database name so create one database so create database so pravin db control enter same thing create one schema so create schema so pravin db dot so pravin sc okay so this database name is what so pravin database schema is pravin scc so copy the database name go here so database okay warehouse what warehouse i should use the snowflake where that is compute wh i'm using the snowflake where that is Compute WH. Okay, one second. So I'm using Compute WH as the warehouse. Okay, see, some setting has been changed from prior version. Okay, now what happened? So don't click on anything. So click as this. So don't do anything. So put as is. Okay, so scroll down. Okay, nothing is there. So scroll up and make it save the changes. Okay, see. Okay, so this is one important thing. So don't click on any in the OAuth method. Okay, so put blank and click the save. So connection has been saved. Now what happened? Next step is that to go to develop cloud ID. So this is the second step. Okay. In the second step, now what happened? 
So first one is completed, configure your development environment. So Snowflake database has been given. Second step, so see, we should select the Snowflake. This is the click. Okay, scroll down. Okay, so username and password. Which username and password I should use? A Snowflake username and Snowflake. Snow set username and snow set password. So you go back here. How to get the username? We should go for select the current user. So current user. Okay, so control enter. Okay, so my username is Pravin SF. So go here. Okay, see what's our schema name? Okay, see Pravin SC schema. So this is my schema. Scroll down, put as it is. Don't do this. So test connection. So username I don't give. Okay. So Pravin SF. So if everything is fine, what happened will get? So details correctly. Okay, something is short saying, okay. So incorrect username and password. So I should give the proper username and password. Okay. So, uh, so test connection. Okay, I will do this access. Okay. So see, your test completed in the sense like what? So you are good to go in the sense like what? So now your connection has been established. Save the same thing, save. Okay, now, so give the, so we can give anything as of now I'm giving. So managed, manage us something like Pravin repo, repository, okay, create. Okay, now, First step is to start developing the ID, integrated development environment. So we can able to start our development in the DBT, okay. So nothing is there, okay, so you know what happened. So create one SQL file, so see, so create one new file. So before that, we should initialize the project. So this is the first step. So initialize DPT project so that the folder structure will be available here. Okay, see, so now what happened? So first step is to, we should check whether we are connected to proper database or not. How to find select current database. So database, okay, current schema. Okay, if everything is fine, we'll get, so Pravin DB, Pravin schema. Okay, got the pointer. So this is the way we can able to do the thing. Okay, see, if you want to connect it to DBT, first you should have Snowflake account. Okay, so okay, see database name, schema name, and connection details. Connection. Same thing you should have what? You should have one Gmail account for creating new DBT account. So if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.